Hi, and welcome again. Now we're going to talk a little bit about variables, uh, how we define them and how we use them. So as in mathematics, a variable is actually containing something. In mathematics, it's numbers usually. And here it can be names, it can be sentences, it can actually be any different kind of uh, types. So I'm going to show you a quick example. Naming the variables is actually kind of hard because you should always name them so somebody else could read your code and understand what this variable is kind of aiming to be. So for example, if you want to save a name like Christina, then probably your variable would be name um, or age would be age, for example. When you will start coding a little bit further on, you will be able to see different kind of difficulties when it's not really as clear to what you actually will name your variable. Uh, for example, just today at work, um, I had to name a variable uh, after a cross on the ground um that had a specific location we had four crosses so first you have to know which cross it is and then it should be the middle point of that cross so you might be uh calling it lu like left upper uh underscore cross underscore uh, uh middle point or something or mt um so you can see that it can be kind of hard because it's really annoying to write left, upper, cross, the middle point or something like that. So uh, after a while, you know all the shortcuts, but the other person that would read your script would be a bit confused, maybe. So that's something to think about. Okay, so if I'm going to store a variable here, um, I would actually write the name of your variable to the left. And uh, so for example, age here, then I add an equal sign that then will assign a value to age, for example, my age, 25. Uh, so now when you write out age, you're going to get out 25. And what the computer does is that it stores the number 25 in the somewhere in their memory. And then age will point to the place in the memory. So age is actually not storing anything. So age doesn't contain anything. It just points to the place uh, in your computer's memory where the number uh, 25 is stored. Um, and as you can see, uh, age will point to 25. So if we take age uh, equals age plus five, for example, you will now see that age is 30. Um, and this variable we can actually use throughout uh, our code, as you just saw. Um, so that is also why, why you use age instead of numbers, uh, is that you want to store maybe the number after a couple of operations, uh, it's much easier and cleaner in the code. Um, and also if you just do operation and never assign the value to anything, that number will be lost. So if I just going to be using five plus, sorry, five plus five here, you're going to see 10, but after that operation here, you'll not be able to use that value anymore. And as I said, it can also be a uh, different kind of sentences. And in Python code, you will call that a string. So a string of words. And that is de actually denoted by using these kind of, um, I actually don't know, quotation marks. Is that what they called? Maybe they are. Um, so if I would write my name, I would use the quotation marks to indicate that this is a string of words that I will put in. And I would add my name as Christina. And then you'll see that the name uh, will point 
to Christina. That is saved. And you cannot, uh, since these are of different type, you can actually see that by writing type and then your variable and it's called integer. So all real numbers are integers. And now you can see that the type of name should be three. And to just um, make it clear, uh, the name name and the name age, they can be anything. So it's not like name only can be strings and age only can be numbers. I can actually say that age is equal to Anna. And I can say that name is equal to 333. And that's no problem because that's just kind of something you just name yourself. It, it has nothing to do with the, with the coding language itself. There's nothing pre-built or anything. It's you deciding what you want to call your different variables. So it's clear in the code. Um, there's also different kind of variables uh, that we will go through later on. There's global variables and there will be local variables uh, and class variables. And you will learn the difference more later on but the principle is always the same it's it's something you want to store in the memory that you want to maybe use later on in the code uh, and you are free to name it whatever you want there are some um, not maybe rules because the, the system itself will never tell you an error if you maybe mix the capital and in small letters or do like hundreds underscores but there are different kind of conventions of how you should uh, write the variable names and, and how you should write function names. But that we will come to later on because that's kind of just a cosmetic thing uh, that is not really necessary for the code. So just name them uh, as you wish so it's easier for you to understand now. And later on we can refine uh, our codes. So um, that was all about variables. And we're gonna go to the next video where I'm gonna show you functions where you might understand a bit more why we actually use variables. So stay tuned.